hello guys welcome to my channel today in this video we are going to discuss the considerations for designing of retaining wall that what uh, considerations or what situations must be kept in mind before designing of retaining walls and how to design a retaining wall we will discuss some thumb rules and there will be some tips for you guys to design a retaining wall overall there would be 11 points about designing of retaining wall and these are actually considerations uh, you can say these are actually uh, limitations that you should keep in mind before designing of a retaining wall so we are actually uh, going to start a series of uh, videos for designing of retaining wall so you guys are requested to please subscribe the channel and stay tuned to watch the other videos uh, upcoming videos regarding designing of the retaining walls so in this uh, video i will uh, discuss or explain the things in english as well as in urdu because the most of my viewers are from india and pakistan so let's start our today's topic First of all, one sh should understand the different terminologies that we used in uh, retaining walls related to re retaining walls because it is very important before designing to understand the different parts of the retaining wall. In my previous video, uh, we discussed about different types of retaining walls as it was also the continuation of the designing of uh, walls okay so uh, jo parts hai, jo terminologies hai, sabse pehle reinforcement reinforcement is the steel that should be provided in the wall to add some additional st strength to the wall as i discussed in my previous video there are several types of retaining walls and this is uh, cantilever retaining wall first of all this is ground level this is surcharge or you can say Mitti ka level jo hota hai jo diwar ke saath banta hai and this is angle of repose which is represented by sigma and this is earth fill this part of the the vertical part uh, vertical portion of the wall is called as stamp and the pressure behind the wall is called as active pressure and this pressure uh, you can say resisting pressure is called as passive pressure on the front side of the wall and the weight of the wall w x downward direction x in downward direction and the bearing force which should be equal to or more than the weight of the wall to bear the weight of the wall it should be greater than w and it acts upward and this portion of the wall is called as toe and the the uh, portion on the side of the back fill is called as heel and this slab is called as बेस स्लेब सो दीज आर फ्यू टर्मिनोलॉजीज जो आपको आना जरूरी है बिफोर द डिजाइनिंग ऑफ द रिटर्निंग वॉल सो लेट्स प्रोसीड कंसिडरेशन फॉर डिजाइनिंग ऑफ रिटर्निंग वॉल किन किन चीजों का आपको ख्याल रखना चाहिए जब आप डिजाइनिंग करते हैं रिटर्निंग वॉल की उसमें पहली चीज है द डिजाइन ऑफ वर्टिकल वॉल शुड बी सच दैट इट कैन रिजिस्ट द बेंडिंग मोमेंट एज वेल एज शेयरिंग फोर्स डिवेलप्ड एट द जंक्शन पॉइंट ऑफ द बेस स्लेब ये बेस स्लेब है ये जो आपको नीचे नजर आ रही है और ये स्टेम का ये स्टेम और ये बेस स्लेब का जो जंक्शन है ये इस जंक्शन की बात कर रहा है दिस प्लेस इज कार्ड एज जंक्शन ऑफ वर्टिकल वॉल एंड बेस स्लेब और ये इतना होना चाहिए ताकि रिजिस्ट मोमेंट को रिजिस्ट कर सके क्योंकि यहाँ पे बैक फिल है तो बैक फिल क्या करेगा इस दीवार को इस तरफ टर्न करने की कोशिश करेगा ठीक है तो इसकी वेथ और चौड़ाई वगैरह इतनी होनी चाहिए कि ये इस वजन को बैक फिल के वजन को बर्दाश्त कर सके एंड द वन थिंग इज के शेयर फोर्स शेयर फोर्स क्या है कि इस बेस स्लेब की मोटाई इतनी होनी चाहिए इसकी मोटाई इतनी होनी चाहिए कि ऊपर से जो अपना वजन आ रहा है इसका जो सेल्फ वेट ऑफ आ वॉल है या स्टेम है वो इसको बर्दाश्त कर सके शेयर फोर्स यानी इतनी वेथ होनी चाहिए कि ये दीवार उसके अंदर धस ना जाए पेनिट्रेट ना कर जाए इसकी बेस जो है वो काफी होनी चाहिए ताकि शेयर फोर्स और बेंडिंग मोमेंट को रिजिस्ट कर सके द डिजाइन ऑफ बेस लेब शुड बी सच दैट लोड कमिंग ऑन द सॉइल शुड बी विद इन द रेंज ऑफ द सेफ लिमिट जैसे मैंने जिक्र किया वेट ऑफ द वॉल जो कि डब्ल्यू से जाहिर करते हैं एक्ट डाउनवर्ड 
weight of the wall acts downward and the normal force which is actually called as bearing capacity of the soil ye ek range mein honi chahiye yani bearing capacity should be greater than the self weight of the wall okay the third point is retaining wall must be safe against sliding sliding yani isko khiska degi agar ye iski base ya niche friction jo hai friction maujood nahi hai तो नीचे बैक फिल जो है अर्थ है या वाटर है या जो भी बैक फिल मटेरियल है वो इसको पुश करने की कोशिश करेगा और इट कैन बी अचीव्ड बाय मेकिंग द बेस स्लैब ऑफ वाइडर वेथ ये कैसे कर सकते हैं हम टू इंक्रीज हाउ द स्लाइडिंग कैन बी रिजिस्टेड इट कैन बी रिजिस्टेड बाय इंक्रीजिंग द बेस स्लैब वाइडर बेस स्लैब जो जितनी वाइड होगी जितनी चौड़ी होगी उतनी ज्यादा फ्रिक्शन ज्यादा होगी और स्लाइडिंग के चांसेस कम होंगे The fourth point is the design of toe and heel of the wall should be carefully done. ठीक है This is toe and this is heel. Okay, and there should be carefully done so that it can resist bending moments significantly. ताके ये जहाँ पे जो bending पैदा होगी, जो back fill है, back fill will tend to push the wall and moment will be created. And this width should be such that the width of the base slab. इतनी होनी चाहिए कि ये बेंडिंग मोमेंट को रेजिस्ट कर सके एंड द फिफ्थ पॉइंट इज द वेथ ऑफ द बेस लेब शुड बी केप्ट एज टू के एज इट कैन बेयर द लोड कमिंग ऑन द सॉइल ये चौड़ाई जो है ये इतनी ज्यादा होनी चाहिए कि जितनी ज्यादा होगी उतनी जगह के ऊपर लोड डिस्ट्रीब्यूट होगा ठीक है वाइडर द यू कैन से एज यू इंक्रीज द वेथ ऑफ द बेस लेब द लोड डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन क्राइटेरिया विल बी चेंज Load will be distributed on large, larger area, and it can safely bear the load of oncoming. As uh, you can see, the self weight of the uh, self weight of the wall and back fill load of the wall. So the width should be larger. There should be provided temperature steel on the exposed face of the retaining wall so that it can withstand against the effects of temperature. Generally, 0.2 percent of total concrete volume is provided as the Temperature steel. The steel should be provided in the form of both uh, bars in both in, in both directions. That is vertical and horizontal direction. So it is uh, actually uh, talking about the distribution bars and main bars. Okay, this one as you can see over here. This is the main bar and distribution bar will be placed along the length of this wall. So this steel should be 0.2 percent of total concrete volume. Seventh point is the top thickness of the stem. This is the top thickness. Top thickness of the stem should be kept within the range. Minimum thickness, कितनी होनी चाहिए? 15 centimeter and maximum thickness should be 45 centimeter. Provided that there should be heavy surcharge load. If it is in the level of the wall, then you can provide minimum uh, width. Okay. If the surcharge is in this direction if the surcharge is more the retaining material exceeds the height of the wall then maximum width should be provided the base width width should be kept in the range of 0.4 to 0.6 now talking about this width okay ye width kitni honi chahiye it should be let's suppose uh it should be 0.4 to 0.6 to total height of the wall let's suppose total height of the wall is 10 meters okay total height of the wall is 10 meters so base kitna hona chahiye base hona chahiye 0.4 meters or you can say 40 centimeters to 60 centimeters so this is the thumb rule for base of the uh, retaining wall the maximum length of the toe should be 0.3 to 0.3 of the base width and minimum length should be up to 0.2 of the base width if the as we discussed in the previous slide if the height of the stem wall is as you can see over here if the height of the stem is 0 uh, 10 meter 10 meters then the width of the base should be 0.4 minimum okay and the as we discussed over here the length of the toe length of the toe should be 0.3 to 0.2 length of the toe this is the toe and this length it is talking about this length this length be should be about 0.2 of this 
thickness this width of the base slab okay i hope you are getting my point okay and the thickness of the base should be equal to the stem of the wall at the bottom now talking about this thickness this thickness this thickness should be equal to the width of the stem at the base should be equal to this width okay should be equal to this width or you can add extra 5 cm in it okay uh, uh, sometimes 5 cm additional thickness is also given to the base depending on the height of the retaining wall in case of masonry retaining wall the development of tension must be checked which can be achieved by creating a condition to make the eccentricity value either equal to or less than b by 6 in which b is the base of the width of the retaining wall if we talk about the masonry retaining walls these are actually uh, gravity retaining walls okay the whose uh, width is much higher and and also is in, they are in the shape of trapezoid in this direction in this shape okay this is the trapezoidal shape and these are actually gravity walls made up of masonry structures so b by 6 should be uh, eccentricity value either equal to or less than b by 6 that is base if this is the base and its value should be less than or equal to b divided by 6 in which b is the base uh, so these are the few points ye jo humne zehn mein rakhne hain before hum designing ki taraf jaye usse pehle ye points aur jo few thumb rules aap keh sakte hain ya jo tips hain ये आपके जहन में होनी चाहिए कि मिनिमम और मैक्सिमम वैल्यूज क्या होनी चाहिए ताकि आपको डिजाइनिंग में आसानी हो तो अगली वीडियो हम इनशाला बनाएंगे जिसमें हम सेल्फ वेट कैलकुलेट करेंगे कि नेक्स्ट वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू कैलकुलेट दी सेल्फ वेट ऑफ रिटर्निंग वॉल विच इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बिफोर द डिजाइनिंग ऑफ द रिटर्निंग वॉल सो स्टेट यून एंड एंड इफ यू आर न्यू टू माई चैनल यू आर रिक्वेस्टेड टू प्लीज सब्सक्राइब इट एंड डोंट फॉर गेट टू प्रेस द पेलाइकन टू गेट वीडियो अपडेट्स दैट्स ऑल फॉर टूडे